LA Noir looks like an epic game. It's not as reckless as GTA. GTA is different because you're running around shooting people and stealing money on the street. But this is different. It's much more from the good guy's perspective. On Xbox, it comes through on three discs. On PlayStation, it's on one Blu-ray disc. You're literally looking at 40 gigabytes worth of data. The only noticeable difference between Xbox and PlayStation is probably the downloadable content. The game itself is extraordinarily detailed. I mean, you're doing stuff like connecting a broken appliance with a missing part which may have been used to murder someone. Also, the game itself is very impressive with the graphics. You've just got so many hours of gameplay. Released on the 19th of May locally, it's quite possibly going to be game of the year for a lot of people. It's post-war time and you're playing a good guy detective. One really cool feature is that you can call out people to see whether the suspects are lying or not. And if you do successfully pick out that they are lying, it helps your case. And if they are not actually lying, they go cold on you. Then you can't really get any more information out of them. So in this way, it makes the gameplay quite interesting. LA Noir is definitely something that people will be staying up until 4am in the morning playing. No second guesses on that. You won't be seeing so much sleep in light of this game's release. It's definitely going to be a big hit. In this game, you work your way up quite extensively. In the early stages, you're walking the beat and eventually you're moving up to traffic and arson and so forth. So, you do things in stages, so it makes the game very well laid out. Definitely a fantastic game, something that I rate a 9 out of 10. Hope you've enjoyed this review, thanks for watching and don't forget to rate, favourite, comment and subscribe.